Hello everyone, just got back from the thrift store. Uh, <laughs> didn't find much of anything that I liked or that I bought, but uh, I just took a video of different things to show you what kind of stuff is at these uh, thrift stores. I mean, I like to try to go there and see if there's anything I can resell for some money on eBay or on Amazon, but really, I don't know. I thought it was crap. Maybe you uh, savvy internet seller people know a little bit more than I do but you know I'm I'm pretty good at making some money but you know of course you gotta find the 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 diamonds in the rough there but anyways I also wanted to let you guys know about this Marley's Mellow Mood drink this is the berry flavor uh, it's supposed to reduce stress and relieve relieve tension I don't know if it really helps or not but it definitely makes me relax and sleepy um, I guess the main things in it are, let's see, sodium citrate, hops extract, lemon balm extract, chamomile extract, and rose hips extract. Um, hey, you never know, might do good for you, especially if you're real stressed out all the time and aren't into drinking alcohol and stuff like that, because I am definitely not one to drink alcohol. But, uh, yeah, Marley's Mellow Mood. I got this one at Kroger, um, I think it's Safeway in some other states uh, and probably goes by some other names but it's a big chain of uh, grocery stores so yeah, if you want to check it out you might find it, it's in a can, they also have ones that are in a glass bottle that are tea um, and they have also the same calming uh, stress relieving ingredients so Give it a shot, maybe it works for you. But the main point of this video was to show you some of this funny stuff that I found at the thrift store. Um, also, uh, yeah, you know, you may enjoy it, you may not. Hey, I'm just putting it out there, show you what's up, show you what kind of stuff I run into there. But uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Boom. Okay, as you're fixing to see, I didn't find much of anything. Um, I don't know what the heck this thing was. It's something I guess to help cook a turkey or something. I have no clue. But uh, yeah, no, I definitely didn't get this. Moving on. Let's see. I don't know what that thing was. The old used up candle. <laughs> Didn't get that. Uh, that was for that leap pad learning system for kids. It was still in package. I try to look for things new in the package because those sell really well on eBay. As far as that's concerned, though, I don't think it sell too well. Some weird beach house, I guess. This guy was following me around for a while. Uh, I guess he saw I was recording and was checking me out. He acted like he was looking at stuff, but I thought that was kind of weird. That was kind of cool, but still not something I would buy for five bucks at a thrift store. So I definitely didn't get that. Okay, he saw that I looked at him. He's walking away now. Let's see what else I found. Some mug or not mug but water bottle or something like that. That was pretty interesting until I saw it was made in Taiwan. I didn't want to have anything to do with that. Crapola. Let's see what else did I find. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. It says Hojo or something, and it's maybe some Japanese or Chinese. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Didn't get it though. Those were some angels, and it was a music box. Um, definitely didn't get that. Music boxes they usually charge a little more for, even though that was only three bucks, but yeah, I'm not really into selling those things. Some are a hit, some are a miss, so I just moved on. It wasn't in great condition anyways. Um, 
And usually I don't go to the clothes sections. I'm not good with picking out the clothes that are going to make money on eBay or Amazon. That's just another thing that's a hit or miss. I didn't find many books except one. Um, not that one. This is uh, some sort of Bible of some sort. But actually I'm not at the books yet. That book was just in the wrong place. These are like VHS movies, DVDs. Very strange stuff too. That was a Darth Vader Star Wars pencil case. Still not something I want to buy at a thrift store. Um, but sometimes you find an old good VHS every now and then. and Or a funny DVD like Starship Troopers. Um, but again I, I try not to stay away from that because you know they're pretty beat up, scratched up and unless it's wrapped up in its original packaging which sometimes you can find uh, I really don't mess with it because you really don't know its history and where it's been that was uh, an Xbox game there I actually had two copies of that football game let's see what else did I find an uh, ET VHS tape pretty good quality but it was Again, not something I buy at a thrift store. Random CDs I had never heard of. Um, so yeah, I didn't. I never jump on CDs anyway. That's a. That's a, another thing. That's a hit or miss. You just end up spending a lot of money. That was Counter Strike Source for the PC. I thought that was pretty cool for 222. Again, though, I didn't buy it. I have Steam and I have it downloaded. So didn't mess with that but hey for someone that doesn't have internet or has an older computer that might work out alright uh, matrix VHS tape <laughs> 99 cents I didn't jump on that I didn't think uh, that would sell too well <laughs> minority report DVD still again I'm just browsing here I didn't I didn't jump on any of this stuff didn't feel like it was something I wanted to get into. Okay, I'm thinking I'm walking to the books now. Yeah. The books, sometimes you can find really good books for really cheap. Of course, that's not one of them. <laughs> it was a Batman... Uh, magnet doodle thing attached to a book and it was pretty beat up so sometimes you can find some old college textbooks or stuff like that and sometimes professors still still use them and people are still looking for them so they're in demand and people pay big bucks for them a lot of times if you find them you can get them real cheap at the thrift store this though I probably should have jumped on it was a uh, Harry Potter uh, book there I think it was the Deathly Hollows. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't jump on it. I was kind of skeptical, and the, plus they ruined it by writing on the spine there. Um, but it definitely was in good shape. Other than that, I looked through it real quick, and you know, I'm, I probably should have bought it. But I don't know much about how much those go for on eBay. And my my phone gets really bad signal in there, so I didn't investigate it too much. Uh, now I'm headed towards the electronic section I guess you could say <laughs> um, yeah they have a lot of interesting things sometimes I found playstations before and game boys and you know things that definitely will sell um, but no luck today as you can see it's just a lot of old appliances that no one uses anymore maybe some Time Warner cable <laughs> remotes there uh, definitely not something I need um, but yeah, that was pretty much it at this uh, thrift shop visit. Oh, I did see that nightlight, but it wasn't worth anything. It didn't feel like it was, you know, worth my time at all. But yeah, I didn't see anything after that. So I usually, usually the only sections I usually go to, the little trinket section, the other section, and yep, that's about it. But yeah, that was my thrift shop run, so I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, stop by my channel anytime. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.